what I'm going to do is, obviously, you brought some objects. For whatever reason, I'm being drawn to that watch in particular. Do you mind if I hold on to that brief? Go right in. Sounds good. OK. This should be fun. Oh, yes. OK. This is strange. OK. Ba -ba -ba -ba. This is an interesting way to start this, but I kind of have to go with where I'm being led. Mm -hmm. um, immediately, I'm connecting to an older man that's coming through. Um, he comes through very much so as a very paternal figure, either biologically dad or someone who was like dad. And he is acknowledging immediately, from his perspective, he feels like he was either disconnected from some members of family or distanced from some members of family at the time of his death. Would you have to know an October connection to him? Mm-hmm. Okay. As he's coming through, though, he's acknowledging He's saying he was stubborn. He, he was acknowledging that the situation was just a lot of stubbornness. It was unnecessary ego. He's not showing me the traditional situation where we're hospitalized, going to the hospital, right. die in the hospital with our loved ones around us. It's not that kind of thing. He wasn't particularly happy with the way that he was found. And that's I wouldn't through. be. OK. Does that make sense? Oh, yeah. Who would this be for you? You're holding on to my dad's watch. Oh, wow. So he passed away. I think he was wearing, I believe he was wearing that watch, but he passed away alone in his, his home. We received a call in October uh, from the police, but it was days after he passed away that he was found by virtue of newspapers being or collecting on the front, uh, front of the house. He was very stubborn. Um, I was kind of pissed at him you know, mm -hmm. during this passage of time too because of his stubbornness, because sure. his health was clearly not in the place where he should be living alone. Right. What he's showing is a commonality wow, wow, between wow, wow. yourself and himself. He acknowledges that he does have a lot of pride for you, and that's big. And I want you to know that, that he's incredibly proud of you. But he's, he, but he's he, saying that now. Yeah, he's acknowledging that. And it's interesting because- Is there because, growth after death? Absolutely, mm -hmm. because the reason being is that he's acknowledging this was the reason because it's something he never took accountability for in life. Right. This man that's coming through is full well acknowledging, I did not take accountability for things when I should have taken accountability for them in my life. And it's important for him to acknowledge on the other side that he does take accountability for it. He's acknowledging an apology okay. for that distance. Um, apology accepted. Good. This is all great stuff. Does that make sense? Oh yeah, it's all good. Okay, great. I sew all this together. Yeah, <laughs> cool, okay. My relationship with my dad was very complicated. In, in every way, Tyler uh, exposed how complicated it was. And that you can take responsibility from the other side is sort of a, a supercharged validation, because that's precisely what he wouldn't really do while he was here. So two, two names I'm going to throw out there. There's a reference to an Ed and a reference to a Rob or a Robert. There's two references there. So with both names of family, think on where would that be? Because throwing the two names out. So who would be Ed and who would be Rob? That's just weird. Yeah? Two dads. My dad, Ed, it, we were close. But he really wanted to be a friend more than he wanted to be a dad. Robert it has to be Robert Reed. Yeah. Robert Reed right. played my dad on The Brady Bunch. Oh. Robert supplied the stuff that my dad just was inadequate at supplying. The right. two of them end up being like two sides of a ladder. Yeah. They help um, have created me, so. Right, absolutely. Wow. Uh, that's weird. Uh, tying, you know, the whole the whole sort of father image being Robert and Dad, because that's really internal, you know, um, and truthful to me. Do me a favor, grab that watch. Sure. This one? Let me see. Because we've got... Oh, that really doesn't feel right. Okay. As I continued the reading, I had another energy that was really intense. I started getting overwhelmed with various images that were coming through that were very personal and very specific. This brain, this is like really, really off. Um, doing this, which always indicates that there was like serious brain chemistry issues going on in a male. This was a younger male as well in the way this comes across. Like, ooh, I do not feel stable. It's very up and down. It's putting a significance on it, saying that his passing was stupid from his perspective, that he was a stupid way to die. He's like, this was just dumb. Um, I, it's like he's pacing back and forth and frustrated with how this went because this was just... Impetuous. Yeah. Yeah. 
but he's he's acknowledging it. And when he comes through, he feels completely fine, like so good and so at peace and so stable <laughs> in the way that this comes across. But paints a very different picture. Before coming across, yeah. Who would this be for you? Who was connected to this? That's my brother, David. My younger brother. He's delivered a lot of messages that have came through in talking about the mental aspect of this. Um, and with whatever you're comfortable sharing, where did that fit? With um, he suffered a lot, uh, but he was sort of regular kid up until like 13, 12, 13. And then things just started going uh, batty. But he did, he, he intimated at one point that, you know, he couldn't live like that, and that, that if he couldn't find that it was something, it wasn't him, he's not crazy. He wanted to make sure that I knew that at one point, but that, that he also made clear that um, he didn't want to live like that. Right. And he made good on that, eventually. I just have this man coming through this. Uh, I just keep hearing, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I think we all are. But he's, he's good now. He is, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm like, I never get emotional during these things. I wish we could have done more. Yeah, yeah. No. I, I... Let him know it's okay. Yeah. He just held on to that for a long time. He didn't. He didn't want to disappoint people. It was there was a lot there, and I, I think I, I just I'm getting such a strong feeling of relief from him. So it's important that that he knew that people aren't mad at him for how things went. That that it was okay. That that he was struggling. That's kind of, why does one need to suffer like that? Yeah, you know. Yeah. So and he didn't want to suffer. Right. So he yeah. felt a sense of peace. We miss him. Absolutely. I do. Absolutely. But happier to know that he's at peace. Yeah. And he's still aware and around on mm -hmm. some level, but he doesn't have what made his life so hard to go through mm -hmm. anymore. And that's, and that's comforting to know. Good. I appreciate it. Yeah. David passing away was just, just uh, uh, it was a tragedy. It really was. I wish I could have done more. And, but it, it, he really made it clear. He made it absolutely clear that he's in a much better place right now and that's comforting thank you so much for having me today. Tyler, it's been Truly. it's been yeah. a thank pleasure you. and thank you. Um, thank you. i am a i'm a fan and a true believer thank i'm you. so glad thank you so much and if you ever need anything i'm always here <laughs> i might need more <laughs> hey, that's all right no problem with that <laughs> all right thank very, you absolutely i am charged i'm very impressed with tyler he's amazingly disarming I guess there's an assumption, you know, what could somebody young know? And then to have him so completely burst that, that balloon because he knows so much more than you do. It was amazing. Enjoy your day. Thank Thanks you so much. much. Oh, I appreciate it. Thank you. I'm just in complete shock with how that reading went. It was so emotionally overwhelming for me that legitimately it's actually hard to even put words together right now. <laughs>